And you'll feel if he gets flat, you'll feel it. You're just going completely off of, you're taking a sense away and that's your eyes. And you're, you're going to enhance your feeling senses. Okay, you're dropping your outside shoulder. Square up your shoulders. Square them. And if anything, move your inside shoulder. Just move your chin and just like slightly move it. There. Do you feel a difference? Little more chin. There. Feel how round? Can you feel his butt and feel his shoulder? Move your shoulder back towards his hip just a little, slightly, a little bit more, and he'll get even rounder. Little more. Just move your shoulder. You're not moving your shoulder. And just be natural about it. Do you see how much more he's he's arcing now? Yeah. Do you feel it now? Yeah. Okay. And just bring your shoulder more back towards his hip. Just it's just simple. Just bring it towards his hip like you're trying like somebody's pulling a string. Somebody's pulling your shoulder to his butt. Feel that? Yeah. Do you feel how much his do you feel that inside leg? It's, yeah. Really ex Ex exaggerating? He's yes, he's driving. Good. Now go back to your old way and I'm going to show you a difference. Just go back to what you were doing. What was I doing? Oh, I don't know. I have it on the camera. Okay, now open up your pocket. Move, 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 move there and close your eyes. Perfect. Pretty, pretty right now. You're going to have to move his shoulders forward. You're, you're moving his shoulders side to side. Make him march forward. There. There. Do you feel him marching forward? Mm -hmm. Think. Pressure with both legs. Yep. And just think, think like he's marching. There you go. Good. Move your shoulder. Just move your... Yep. There you go. Now. So, see how he now got soft in his ribs right now? He's not so rigid. Good, good, good. You're square. Right no. Nope. Oh. You're really not. And just start moving them with your leg. Just start really working your leg instead of less hand and more leg. And just move your shoulder just a tad so you set his, his spine up. 
There, good. Do you feel the difference there? Mm -hmm. Like you're out of your box now. You look, you look more natural now. You'll see when we watch it. Okay, now stop and go the other way. Good. You're stronger to the right than you are to the left. Do you know that? Like he's not being an ass anymore. He's like getting calmed down. Move his, move his shoulders out. Keep his hip good. Move his shoulders out again. He gets a little flat right there. Bring his hip towards me. Use that with your outside leg, there. There, and if you'll just move your, shul your shoulder in just a little bit more, he should get, there, do you see how much rounder he got? Good, good. Okay, you're lifting your shoulder up. Quit lifting it up. Just get square. Quit lifting. You're lifting it up. Just bring it down a little bit. Inside, no, your inside shoulder. Just bring it down. Inside shoulder down. Neil had me do this. You're lifting it up though. This is so absolutely awkward. There, you're getting softer with it. There, good, good. See how I, I, I'm losing my stirrup? Why? You're losing your stirrup because you're not sitting down. I am sitting down, though. <laughs> like, I feel secure in my seat right here, too. Yeah? Okay, stop, go the other way. Stop, go the other way. Okay, you're moving your shoulder forward again. Not up, just move it, just move it back. Move your chin, just get your chin up a little bit. There, better. Look at the mountains, they're really pretty. Okay, stop, go the other way. Get his shoulders up. He's leaning into your hand, do you feel that? Yeah. Okay, get him off your hand by picking his shoulder up. All, do do a diamond. Do all right hand turns right now. And pick it up. Pick up a lope and just lope a big circle and then get soft.
Go to your second barrel. Well, she's doing them off the rail. Actually, this this is good for him, really. And this is good for her. Right. Her riding's better, huh? I know. Yep. Go to left. What? I did. Lope soft circles. She knows. She needs it for her, Dwayne. It's good that you're making him calm down. You need to go to a walk, you go to a walk, or a trot to a trot, or a lope to a lope. You go his pace. Move him out a little. There you go, good. Go the, other way. the other way. Turn inside out. Next time, turn inside out. You know what I mean? Inside out. Inside out, shoulders all the way away and back to your right. Do a 360. Did you hear him? He's flat. There you go. There. Don't use the outside right now, just the inside. Block him a little bit. And use your leg more, your outside leg. Now now do it again. Pick your chin up. Okay, do it again. Do it right there. Better. He still is a little flat, but better.
Move them forward. You're. Yeah, and you gotta move them forward when you do that. Good job. Her riding's gotten way better, huh? She's listening now. She wants it bad. Okay, go to the next one. Just let him rest on that one. For today. That's good enough for him on that one. We started getting the walk where he's comfortable. He got away from you there, Holly. Don't let him get away from you. Easy, easy. Bigger circles. More circles and bigger circles. Just lope that and lope it 50 times if you have to. Don't stop him, you just keep on going through. Do not stop him. Just keep on loping him until he gives to you. He'll give to you eventually. And when he does give to you, I want you to quit. You hear me? You might have to hold him and get him slowed down and use more, use more hip, use more body language. And if you'll pick your chin up and help him. Keep on, don't let him stop. Especially flat like that. You know what I'm saying? You, he got flat on you big time. I wouldn't let him stop at all near the barrel, at all, ever, ever, ever. Make him be round at the barrel. When he does good, I want you to just flow through and then you're gonna stop at the fence. There, and you stopped him with the shoulders out away from the barrel. That's awesome. <laughs>